Mulibwanji, mulibwanji, mulibwanji. Welcome back to the Be Official Podcast. I'm your host, your guy, Paul Payne 37. Yes, we are back again like we never left. You know what I'm saying? Does that really make sense? I don't know. Yeah, but something like that. But yeah, whatever. Yeah, we are back again. You know, feels so good to be here. You know, and uh, yeah, it's such an amazing time. Your time is really flying, man. Like we're already in uh, August, running through to September. The year is almost getting done. What have you done? You know, that's the most important question you should be asking yourself. We are already like, wow, the year is always is, is almost ending, you know. And uh, yeah, um, the battle of you know New Year's resolutions and all that kind of stuff. What have you achieved? You know, what what are you struggling with? All that kind of stuff. You know, uh, please let us know. Please drop me a comment uh, wherever you know let, let's get charging let's let's get talking you know and uh yeah this we are back again with the segment that we told we call behind the song this is one of the most intimate uh, sessions i love because it, it helps me break down songs that i've um, released previously or currently you know and uh, i get to just like dive deep and just explain uh, the meaning behind the lyrics, you know, because not everybody gets to understand uh, what we artists talk about, you know, and it's just, I, f- I feel it, I feel this kind of like, oh, like a sense of, you know, just, it's it's more like a textbook, right, or so more like a book, and I get to explain uh, the meaning behind the story, you know, um, just like the literature, the literature books, you know, so for me this is one of the segments that i really love because i just get to exp- we, we get to explore like what's behind the curtain even more you know so that's that's one thing i i don't get to do in a song because a song is like four minutes three minutes two minutes you know so you don't get to express yourself that much so at least in this 30 minutes 20 minutes uh sessions it's it's a way of me just like you know um pouring out my heart and just telling you uh, what this song really means you know so uh welcome back and uh, it's it's nice having you and today we'll be breaking down a song titled half a man you know uh don't mind my voice i have a flu so it's terrible but yeah so the song we're breaking down is called half a man and um i'm so poor nervous at the same time because this this is a personal song and it's really personal to me and um i i feel like these days songs lack substance you know like i feel today people just tend to speak especially like for artists you know they just tend to um sing rap for whatever is trending and um they don't get to like uh speak about certain issues that are affecting uh, our generation you know and uh, shout out to the real ones who are doing that and um it's, it's not easy you know diving deep into your emotions you know all these things that you've been through is not an easy thing to do you know it's, it's more like me opening up my journal or my diary book and letting the whole world know what i have been going through you know so for me these songs are personal and um i just love the fact on how you guys receive them and um most of the times you relate because we are all people going through all these things you know that's why for me I, I I tend to disregard the celebrity cool status because I just feel like we are all going through the same things, you know. We are all battling uh, the same emotions, you know. We are all going through a roller coaster of 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 emotions, you know. So today I'm breaking down a song titled "Half a Man." You might call it "Half a Man," "Half Man," whatever, yeah. But it's titled "Half a Man." Um, so this song is um, was produced by Fusa. Shout out to Fusa all the way from Uganda, and um, yeah, we tend to make some beautiful magic with them all the time. And, and uh, yeah, so I remember. I think this was like last year. Yeah, like last year when I wrote this year. 
maybe I don't know, but between the first of this year, or yeah, between any of these two, right? First of this year or last, last year, like let's say December. Yeah, December, November, somewhat there. Yeah, so uh, when I heard the bits, man, shout out to Fusa, man, he's, he's a genius. So the instrumental just got me, you know, and uh, it's it's those type of things that just get to speak to you just in the first glance, you know, and um, I. There's a song, I don't, I've forgotten the artist, right? I've forgotten the artist, but it's also titled Half a Man, you know? Um, but when I heard it, I was like, okay, this is nice, you know, because this is something I would also want to speak about, you know, but just like add a little bit of a spin and twist to it. So I heard the song and um, I kind of took it in a different direction for me, you know? And it made me go back to the place where I was, you know, like understanding the moment when somebody tells you, um, you can't fix me, you know, like the journey that I'm getting on is a journey of my own, you know, like I'm the only one who is able to fix me. Like this journey is only meant for me, you know. So sometimes if you're at the back end who's receiving, it becomes like it's more it's it's very difficult for you to understand right because you feel like it's 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 kind of uh how can i put it like you feel some type of way because maybe the they're trying to run away from you you know like there's it's it's so hard just to accept somebody telling you like i need some space and to find myself, like, I feel like I've lost my identity, you know, like, I've lost myself, and I can't, like, I can't give you the love that you want me to give you, right, like, it's, it's kind of hard for you to phantom that, and just, like, put it in, uh, uh, like, just bring it, bring it, bringing it all to reality, you know, it's, it's hard sometimes, you know, and, uh, when you sit down and just, like, talk to your partner, and all that kind of stuff, if they're capable of understanding that well and good, you know, it just becomes a little bit tricky when they can't understand, you know, and yeah. So, um, it's a two-way thing, you know. I've experienced it before. Somebody tells me that, I have experienced it before. And I think I've been also in a situation where I have done that to somebody, right? Like, you know, just tell it like it is. And uh, it's a struggle, you know. It's hard when you can't, when you are failing to love yourself to love somebody else. It's hard, man. Like, it's really hard. Because the battle is, is an endless one, you know. You barely know yourself. How can you know somebody else? It's hard, you know. So, that's, what, that's the reason why, for me, I'm a huge advocate of always dating yourself first. Like, date yourself, understand yourself, know yourself before you can jump into something else, you feel me? Because that will help you navigate the whole uh, ups and downs, you know, because you know what you want. It's difficult when you don't know what you want, you know? So that's what half a man is all about, you know? It's all about identity crisis, trying to find yourself and, you know, trying to be a leader who will be able to lead, you know, with God's guidance, you know? So. There's just that old aspect to it where you're always fighting and you want to find your true self and true identity, you know. So there's just that crash that is always there, you know, whereby you want to experience this, but at the same time you can't experience it because you have an identity crisis, right? You are fighting to be a better man, a better woman, and it's, it's crazy, you know, because you can't be the only one just receiving you have to also fill up somebody, you know, like fill up their cup. You can't just be pouring and pouring and pouring into somebody and you're not receiving. By the end of the day, you end up doing duplicated. 
I think there's a post that I posted saying sometimes we take on cases that shouldn't be our case, you know, like we'll fix them, you know, don't worry, you know, blah, 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 blah. nah, only God can change people, man. We can't change people. We lie to ourselves, you know. By the end of the day, you, we are the ones who end up being broken, plain and simple. So yeah, before I make this very long, let me just jump right straight to the lyrics. So it starts with a, with a verse. I'm drifting far away, I don't want to hurt you. I'm a man who's on fire, I go burn you. Let me save out your heart, you a virtue. So this is me like just trying to tell uh, my significant other that, you know, let me get away from you before I hurt you, right? Because you're a pure soul. Everything about you is just like, it's, it's, it's pure. I don't want to be, I, I don't want to like keep on hurting you, you know, because in as much as I am fighting to know myself, I'll, I'll also end up burning you. I'll also end up hurting you, you know. So those are the first three lines. I'm a villain in the story and I'm certain. I'm running from a demon that I call pain, right? And this is me just trying to, um, Told them that, you know, in as much as you are trying to be very good to me, right? Like I know in this in this whole relationship right now, I'm I'm the bad guy, right? It's like I'm the bad person here because I keep on juggling in between certain things. Like I'm not sure, you know, today I'll be here all loving and stuff. Tomorrow I'm a mess, I'm a wreck, you know, like I don't even talk to anybody, you know. So um I'm running far away from a demon that I call pain, right? Afraid to face the man who is my lane. How can I lead? I'm a lost man. It's hard for me to lead if I'm a lost man, right? So it's like um, I'm running from my the pain that I have had, whatever that had caused the pain, right? So this is me just trying to be in a place where I wanted, I wanted to understand and get to the root cause of the pain, you know? Because I think most of the times we always run away from uh, facing our traumas, you know, facing our true self, you know, because these are things that we haven't been taught well. I think I was talking to uh, D last time, my manager, like, you know, I think for me, therapy is something that I'm looking forward to do because, um, like, it, it's been, it's something that for us, like Africans, or let me just say black people, like, nah, just talk it over with someone else. Like, just talk it over with uh, somebody close to you. Yeah, you can talk to somebody close to you. But again, you know, these are things that a professional might be able to help you. You know, you might talk talk it over. But again, these are things that that will still come up. At that moment, you feel great. You have talked about it. But again, there's just that sense whereby you just want to, you know, speak to a professional and just like sit down and just, you know, let them help you find, uh, like offload whatever that you've been going through. So, um, then it goes on saying, ain't the man of your dreams, see, I'm haunted. But I run far away, girl, I'm haunted. I'm a man who's unredeemable, I'm fronting. So, I'm, I'm, I'm admitting to the fact that you can't redeem me, you know, you can't, in as much as you want me, and you're telling me it's all going to be fine, you know. So, I think it's, as so I'm saying, it can be hard at times for the other person to accept you know, because we humans were built off just like being love beings, right? And we are there just trying to help. You know, we always want to help, especially if it's somebody who's close to us, somebody we love. You know, we always want to render that help. But sometimes it's okay to let them find their way. You know, it's okay for them to let them go and find the true meaning of why they belong on this planet. You know, so I can never give you love that you're wanting. I barely even love me. It's daunting. See, I'm hurting, you know, it's clearly explanatory, you know, like I am struggling to love myself. So how can I give you the love that you're wanting if I can't even love myself, you know, so I'm hurting myself. I, I can't give you the love that you want. I'm a man who's unredeemable, a man who's fronting, I'm a man who's fighting, trying to understand the reality of things, you know. So it's just funny how certain people don't tend to, let me say, not funny though, but um, how can I put it? Sometimes, for, especially for me, right, 
I'll have like so, like let's say there'll be women will be flocking in my DMs, right? And I know when somebody just learned to be appreciative, thank you, kudos to you. It's I think it's hard for me sometimes just to be in a place where I tell you, like, listen, 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 listen. Yeah, I respect you for coming straight at me, you know, and telling me how you feel. But at this moment, I'm sorry, man. Like, I'm sorry, you know. And some, like, sometimes people don't want to understand. You know, they want to keep on getting at you. No, yeah, yeah, this, you, what, 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 yeah, you know. But I'm trying to tell you, like, yo, for me, I think I'm not the type to be in a place where I, I want to toy you with your, toy you around with your feelings, you know. I've been around and I know how it feels, you know. So, ain't that man anymore, man. Ain't that man anymore. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm way past that. So, yeah. If you want to show me love, just show me love, man. Just come, you know, let's vibe to the music. Let's share our experiences and all that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So, it goes now to the chorus and says, How can I love you wholeheartedly? I'm only half a man. How can I give you all of me? I'm only half a man. How can I love you wholeheartedly? I'm only half a man. How can I give you all of me? I'm only half a man. How can I love you? Barely love myself. I'm only half a man. So yeah, that's the chorus. And yeah, the chorus is straightforward. Then I get on to the second verse where I go. I need to get me in a good place. Only me can save me. See, I need space, right? Only me can save me. See, I need space. In as much as you want, that's why they say sometimes, right? You might want something more than the other person. And that might end up hurting you because you see they're great. You see all these things about them, right? But it will hurt you because they're not doing what you expect them to do, right? So sometimes we project certain things on other people, you know, of that we shouldn't be doing. The only, the only thing we can do is just like show them the way, you know, but it's up to them to get up and move. You know, you can't force somebody to take a step, you know, unless otherwise, though, unless you're trying to be military. But again, they'll still default and go back to their basics. Don't waste out your love. I'm a dead case. I've been trying to find my maker. I'm a disgrace. Don't waste such a love on a dead case, you know. Um, I'm, I'm a product of my creator, right? So I'm trying to find the reason why he created me. Like, what's my purpose in this, on this earth? What, what was I created for? What was I meant for? It's not okay to just exist. You're not a rock. Even a rock has a purpose why it's there, you know. Everything that's been planted on earth by God has a purpose. Everything has a purpose. So as a human being, just existing is dying, but you're living. I don't know if you get it. It's just like a zombie, you know. So I shamed of myself, see, I need grace. I need to know my purpose in this whole race. Who am I? Who am I? I'm in a crisis. So this is like an identity crisis kind of thing, you know, feel me? And it's hard for me. I'm like trying to get through all these hula hoops and stuff. So just like I was, let's just, just like I was saying in the first place, right? Like trying to understand the reason why I'm on this planet, right? That's the identity crisis I'm facing. So I'm trying to find myself. This is dope. If you want to help, I know you want to help, but it's my fight. I'm a ship that is sinking, better save out yourself. I don't want to hurt you because I'm hurting myself. I know you want to help, but this is my fight, you know. I'm a ship that is sinking, but the Titanic, man, you know. Um, this is just me being in a place where I'm being honest and I want to serve out you and... Uh, let me just sink, you know, let me find me, you know, let me understand why I'm here. It's going to be difficult, but it's the best for all of us. 
I don't want to sink with you. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, then it goes back to the chorus, then the the outro. So it's a it's a it's a deep song, man. It's really a deep song, and I'm glad that you guys are able to relate. Um we are all going through a lot of things, you know. And for me, the reason why I just write these things is to help somebody out there, you know. Like, you're not the only one going through all these things, you know. And you have people around you who are also going through the similar things, you know. And for me, it's all about relating to giving you hope and showing you that... It's okay not to be okay, you know. I've done some terrible things and I've broken some hearts. I've been broken before too and I'm not proud, but these are lessons I've learned, you know. Should I have, should I have uh, like done better? Of course. But I'm human too, man. We all make mistakes, so. And we are, as long as you're alive, you keep on making those mistakes. So the key is just learning from the mistakes and you know, being a better version and being a better human being, you know, so I've been your host, your guy, Paul Penny 27. And this has been Behind the Song. Peace.